Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, thank you. All right, and we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, good morning. My name is Alexis Sines. I'm with the International Indigenous Youth Council, Southern California chapter. And I am mixed. Um, my mom is white, my dad is indigenous and uh, mixed Latino, Latinx. Um, and uh, I am adopted Lakota and Navajo. And uh, I ascend from the Quechua and Pueblo nations. Um, and I am just very, very grateful to be here with you this morning and um, super excited to kick off Earth Week. Um, so uh, we started this Movement 2020 Coalition or Movement Los Angeles um, as a bunch of different movements and organizations. There's about 100 plus organizations involved in this and we've been planning this week since December and it's so crazy and exciting that it's here finally uh and uh we're just very excited to come together as a coalition to uplift each other's movements and voices and um we're going to be continuing to do this even after earth week so it's very very exciting thank you for joining us on our first excursion um and event and we're so happy to have you. Uh, so this week, uh, we are leading with uh, how we pray in our indigenous way of life, uh, which is, uh, you know, we pray for four days, usually in ceremony. And when we pray, we pray for uh, the earth, our community, um, our future generations and ancestors and ourselves. And so that's how we set up this week. So today is our uh, self-reflection and our prayer for self and our day of silence for Mother Earth. Um, tomorrow is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. And for this day, it is gonna be our prayer for Mother Earth. Um, and that is gonna be when we have our rally, virtual rally tomorrow on, um, <laughs> on uh, Let's see, Thursday uh, is going to be our prayer for uh, fu our future generation, so divesting for our future. And on Friday is going to be our prayer for community. Uh, it's Ramadan. It's also uh, the Ar anniversary of the Armenian Genocide. And we just want to be in right relations with everyone. And uh, so that's our prayer for our community. And we'll be having panels discussions that day. Um, we have a very packed week for you and we're super excited. Uh, so today is all about self uh, reflection and going inward and really understanding why we're a part of this movement. And um, not only understanding that, but how reflecting on how we are, you know, going to not just celebrate and protect the earth on earth day but just on in our everyday lives how are you contributing to help mother earth in your day to day not just once a year or a few times a year you know so that's what this day is for and to really go inward because if we're not okay ourselves there's no way that we can do this work um and so we really wanted to take a day to prepare to for the bigger work that's ahead because there is a lot of work ahead and we have to be ready for it um so that's why as the international indigenous youth council we really wanted to make sure that this day was a part of earth week because it's so important um i'm gonna start with a prayer to um to start um, to open up the week, and then we'll go ahead and go straight into our meditation. So if you do, don't pray, it's, that's totally okay. Just set your intentions. Um, you can pray to whatever deity you pray to. Um, we're just going to do a collective prayer together. And I was always taught to pray with water, because women were water carriers, so I'm going to be praying with water, but I think it's also powerful to pray with your water regardless of you know your gender because it's important to um 
like this water is life. Water is life in Utoni, and it's important to make sure that you know you're you have that connection with it before it nourishes your body. Um, so if you have your water, go ahead and hold it, and we're gonna pray. And then we'll go ahead and go into our meditation, our grounding meditation. Thank you again for being with us. Tokashila, <sighs> Wupila, thank you so much for another day, Tokashila. Um, so excited to be here with all of these people. You know, we could be anywhere in the world right now, and we're here uh, together, um, ready to prepare for what's ahead. And Tungashila, we just want to thank you for uh, community and bringing us together. And we want to thank you for uh, our, the earth and all that she gives to us. I um, want to thank you for the sacred elements, this water that came so far um, to be with us, this clean water. Tungashila, we want to thank you and we pray for the communities that are without clean water and just pray that they, um, that you help them uh, in a good way to, to get this clean water. We thank you for the one that, the stuff that, the water that we have. And I wanna pray for the fire and for the winds, the four directions, um, for Unshimaka, Mother Earth, for the plants, um, just want to thank you for all the living, breathing organisms on this planet and everything that we're fighting for. Congratula. This is for her. This is for, uh, for Mother Earth. And we just ask you that this week that she hears our prayer, that we use our voices because she cannot. And I just want to thank you for our families. I ask you to protect anyone that has been affected by COVID that you help them, that you nurse them back to health because we, we need them. We need them here. Um, and we just ask you to bless over our families and communities and keep them strong, keep them uh, grounded during this hard time mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And I pray for um, our future generations that we fight the good fight so that way they have clean air and clean water as it is a basic human right and i i pray that i or i thank you Tonkashila, for our ancestors for our spirit guides for all the people that have paved the way before us thank you for their wisdom thank you for their knowledge thank you for their guidance and their support um just thank you so much, Tungashila. And lastly, I pray for myself and for all of those here on the call um, that you help this meditation, help us ground down, that you help today for us to go inward, to self-reflect, to give a moment, to just take a moment, to just notice and to just listen. And to just listen, Tungashila. Thank you so much for today. I'm so excited for Earth Week at home with Haki Oyasa and all my relations. Let's go ahead and get into a comfortable position. You can lie down, you can sit down, and let's just go ahead and close our eyes. And when you're ready, just starting to take deep inhales and exhales. And breathing in, inhale in through the nose. And exhale out through the mouth. Good, trying to go a little bit deeper with your breath, inhaling in through the nose. And exhale out through the mouth. Good, continuing to breathe deeply from that lower belly, exhale. Inhale, breathing in through the nose. And exhale out through the mouth. And now this time, I want you to breathe in through the crown of your head. Breathing in all the way from the crown of the head. Hold it at the top. 
And this time when you exhale, I want you to exhale through the soles of your feet. Pushing all the air out. Good. And again, breathing into this time the palms of your hands. And exhaling out through your chest, releasing and relaxing, letting the shoulder blades fall down the back, relaxing even more into the surface on which you sit upon. And again, this time breathing into the throat. And exhaling out of your navel or your intuition, releasing all that air out. And this time breathing into your navel or intuition. Exhaling out through your throat. And one more time, breathing in through the whole front half of your body. Deeper and deeper. Exhaling out through the back of your body. Good, and now I want you to bring your attention uh, to the back of your neck or the top of your spine where your uh, spinal cord connects to your brain. And just bring your focus there, the top of your neck, and just breathing here into your life force. Really focusing on this spot in your body, breathing into it. And exhale, releasing what must go. And inhaling in, breathing into that neck. And exhale, releasing all that must go. Good, two more breaths, just like that. Inhale, breathing in. And exhale, release from that neck. Final breath, breathing into your neck, filling it up. Breathe deeper, deeper, filling your life force. And exhale, release. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and move into your middle of your back or where your shoulder blades are, or your torso. Um, so really focusing on the middle part of your spine or your upper back and just breathing into this part of your life force, your spinal cord, your vertebra, your mid-back, breathing in here. And exhale, releasing must, what must go. And inhale, breathing in. And exhale, release. Good, two more breaths just like that. Inhale, breathing into that back. Exhale, relax the shoulder blades. Relaxing deeper. Final breath, breathing in nice and deep. And exhale, release. Very nice, good. Now let's move into the lower back. So focusing all your attention into your lower back area. Let's go ahead and breathe here. So breathing in and exhale, release. All that must go. And again, breathing into that lower back. Exhale, release. Two more just like that. Breathing in. Final breath, inhale. Exhale.
Good, bringing your awareness into your tailbone now, right at the sacrum, really focusing on that tailbone, breathing in and exhaling, release. Inhale, breathing into that tailbone and exhale, release. Two more breaths, just like that. Breathing into your tailbone, giving life. Exhale, release all that must go. And final breath, inhale, breathing in. And exhale, release. Ground that energy energy down into 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 your tailbone. Good. Now with your focus here on your tailbone, we're gonna go into some imagery. And if you need to just focus back to the breath at any point in time, you're more than welcome to. And sometimes I'll remind you to. Let's go ahead and just focus at the tailbone. And I want you to imagine planting a seed into the earth beneath you that's connected to you. So go ahead and just imagine planting that seed under in the earth below you. Just imagine what that would look like. Just feeling that connection to earth, that seed starting at the tailbone and connecting all the way up through your vertebra, through your spinal cord the crown of your head. Planting that seed in a protective barrier of earth. Good, and now I want you to imagine divine water from the top, crown of your head, from the top of your head pouring down your spine, all the way down the neck, the upper back, the lower back, and through the tailbone, all the way down to that seed. So you're watering that seed. We're watering it with divine, sacred water. Using your breath if you need to, breathing in from the crown of your head, and exhaling out through your tailbone, imagining that water filling you up from the crown of your head all the way down to that seed. Letting each drop nourish it with love, with compassion, with strength and courage. And hope. And of course, more love. <laughs> and just imagine that little seed being watered. And now that seed starting at your tailbone, really imagine from that water, it starts to sprout roots in the soil. So really imagining all of the roots growing out of this seed into the soil. That's connected to the seed, that's connected to your life source in your spine. Imagine those roots growing and growing and finding all sorts of connections through self. with these roots. Beautiful. And now I want you to kind of move your awareness from those beautiful grounded sprung roots and move up a little bit and start to build our foundation, our trunk, 
and just imagine what you want your foundation or your trunk to be filled up with. Imagine it, imagine those things filling you up from that tailbone, from that seed, from those roots into your lower back and starting to work your way up the spine. Just imagine what you want your foundation to be, what you want your, your strength to be filled with. And imagine that trunk working its way up all the way through to the top of your shoulders. imagining all that strength, that courage, that love, compassion, foundation, anything else that you build up your foundation with, feel it. Feel its stability. Feel its strength. All in that tree trunk. And stand tall with it. And from here, let's go ahead and focus to the top part and imagine our branches growing. This is kind of like a mirror, right? For our roots, only on the outside. So imagine growing your branches and what you want those branches to be. Imagine them growing tall and long. Imagining each branch connecting to another branch and remembering that they're all connected to the trunk, which is connected to your roots which is connected to your seed which is connected to your life force as you watch them grow And now from here, let's go ahead and imagine growing leaves. What are these leaves in relation to you? What are their color, their shapes? And just imagine those leaves growing off of those branches and their connection all the way down to the seed, to the source, to you, the life force. See how they beautifully flow through the breeze. And just imagine filling your branches up with these beautiful, beautiful leaves. And just take a moment to just watch and admire. And now, just like the seasons change, we change, right? So I want you to imagine those leaves, anything that you feel that must go, letting those leaves fall to the earth and letting the earth embrace them and compost them so that way they can go on their own journey. If you're having trouble with this, remember to focus back to the breath. So use your breath for this one if it's hard for you to let go of those leaves. So breathing in. 
and exhale, letting what must fall, fall. All for Ushimaka, Mother Earth, to catch it, to compost it, and recreate it into something new. Let it go. Give it back to the earth. It, you don't need it anymore. Breathing in. Seeing those beautiful leaves that once served you great purpose and taught you so many lessons. Exhale, release, and let them fall to the earth. Knowing that you will once again grow new leaves. Letting those leaves compost. Just giving yourself a moment to just recognize and let that go. And now looking back at your beautiful tree that you created, the beautiful leaves, the long, beautiful branches, the stable and strong foundation of your trunk, all the way down to those roots that are planted deep into the soil, deep into your ancestry, deep into your roots. All the way coming back into that seed, that seed from which it all started from, your life force. And breathing into this beautiful image of you. Exhale release, knowing that you created this, you had the power to create this and to ground and to create stability. Breathing in and exhale. Two more breaths just like that. Breathing in and exhale. And final breath, breathing deep, deep into that belly, all the way through your spine, through every single part of your tree, and hold it at the top for three, two, one, inside out. Uh, Letting your breath return back to your natural cadence and just finding your way back to the center of you and feeling what it feels like to be here. Finding gratitude in this moment. And your emotional memory lets you know that this exercise, this visualization, this breath is all inside you and within you. And knowing that this is fully integrated into your emotional memory, into your real life. Taking one last final inhale. And when you're ready, Exhale and open your eyes on your own time. Wow. Thank you so much for letting me lead you through that. Um, I had this idea as a meditation a long time ago, and I, you know, I never got to do it. And so now I, of course, my first time would be for Earth Day, and I'm just super grateful um, to have been able to share that with you, that experience with you. Um, so this week, 
you know, we have a lot of different things going on. Make sure you keep up with all the things. Tomorrow is our virtual rally, which is so exciting. We have an amazing, amazing guest speakers and performers from here in Los Angeles. Um, not only that, but today, um, the International Indigenous Youth Council is leading the entire day. And we have some amazing things planned for you to help you tap in with yourself and to help you go inward. Um, so at 12 p.m., we're doing a mass moment of silence for missing, murdered Indigenous women and relatives and for all of those who lost their lives to the, the, the climate justice movement. And um, so we ask you to join us um, for a 10-minute moment of silence for them and um then at 2 p.m we have journaling uh and then at 6 p.m we have a water ceremony by our amazing amazing elder tina who is tongbe and shumash and if you don't know los angeles is on tongbe and shumash territory and i so apologize i did not um do that in my prayer um so I just want to take a moment to just thank the land that we're on and thank our Tongbe and Chumash elders for, and there's a few other uh, tribes from Los Angeles. I thank them and their ancestors and allowing us to be on this land. And um, we recognize that they are the first people of this land here in so-called Los Angeles. And I just want to thank you all if you are from that tribe thank you so much um and uh we're so excited to have her we're so excited um to have her you know lead us through this week so thank you guys so much and i hope that this helped you ground down for your day to prepare and we'll see you in a little while for our moment of silence. Aho, Matafio Yasin. <laughs>